Retail Dimension is a privately owned company based here in Miramar. We manufacture anything for high street retailers, so furniture, fitting, signage, joinery, through to sheet metal, through to plastics, you name it, we can supply the high street. We're a factory of 30 people. We've got eight people on our health and safety team. So they're now trained health and safety reps and they're empowered to change behaviours where they see unsafe behaviours or unsafe conditions. From an airborne hazard point of view, the, probably the single biggest concern to any joinery facility would be dust. Um, dust arising out of um, the machining of MDF product in particular. Uh, it's a known hazard, known respiratory hazard. And the way we control those risks is predominantly through extraction, vacuum extraction at source. So most of our equipment has vacuum pumps attached to it. Probably 60-70% of the hand tools again have vacuum extraction at the source, but clearly dust is still present in the environment and so we then need to move into the areas of personal protective equipment. What I encountered at the, at, when I first joined the business, and it's only a couple of years ago now, was a relatively safe company, but with improvements that could be made. The use of air hoses, blowing yourself down, blowing the dust off your overalls, blowing your workbenches down, um, it was quite an ingrained habit, but it's not a good practice. You might clean your workspace or your overalls, but the reality is that all you're doing is blowing that dust into the air to either contaminate product or more importantly, to be breathed in. And I engaged with the workers. I really shared with them international uh, best practice. So there's a lot of literature on the subject. So I shared that with, with the guys. And there's no doubt that they all acknowledged the, um, the fact that this was a frowned upon process and through and with the health and safety team, we're gradually starting to introduce a program of increased use of vacuum extraction, whether it's extraction on tools, or whether it's vacuum cleaning your workspace down, or even your, own, your overalls at the end of the day, um, and a reduced use of the air hoses. We also monitor their health on an annual basis, so we monitor their lung function. We have a nurse come in uh, annually to, to check their lung function. So we're implementing various tangible programs such as the vacuum cleaners, such as guarding on the equipment, the very uh, the obvious stuff that you can see that a workplace inspector would come in and see and, and point out. The next step is the, I guess is the behavioural side of things and it's, it's the, as I say, it's the belief amongst the general workplace that the business cares and therefore they should care about safety. 